Today I'm going to show you how to create a frame that is the outline of a word or two words in this case. So I've got Happy Easter and then I've got the outline of the word and inside the word is an image. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Welcome back friends. So I'm going to start by creating my Easter message. So I'm going to go to my text and I'm going to just place a heading there and I'm just going to say Happy Easter. Now this could be any message at all. It doesn't have to be about Easter. So uh, I'm going to take that and I'm just going to try and center it on my page. I'm also going to tighten up the line spacing. Um, but I'm going to change the font. Um, so I think I'm going to change the font to that and I'm just going to make it a little bit larger like so. Now, um, if you don't like the way the letters are sitting, so for example, there's the P there and the T is almost touching it. Um, what we can do is we can just create another text box and we can separate the two words like this and then I'll come here and I'll move this here and I'll get rid of happy and then you can position the two words uh, however you like so in that case then the spacing the line spacing really has no bearing okay uh, now I'm going to make this a little bit larger just to fit my workspace. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take um, each word and I'm going to apply the outline effect. Um, and uh, I'm going to make it yellow just so that I can see the outline. And I, I want to make the thickness really, really big. I'm going to apply the same effect. So I'm going to use the copy style and I'm going to paste it onto my Easter. And what I'm going to do now is I want to fill those white spaces with yellow squares. So I'm going to add some yellow squares and or one yellow square rather. And I'll just do that. Now I just had to adjust the second um, word there a little bit. All right, so now that I've got the outline effect on the words, I am going to download this as a PNG, transparent. And I'm gonna add another page and I'm going to bring that into my workspace. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this image and I'm going to make all of it black. So I'm going to come into Duotone and if you didn't see that it's right here, Duotone, and I'm going to use the custom filter and I'm just going to toggle both the highlight and the shadows to black. Okay, and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to make a frame out of this so that I can bring in my uh, background um, that's going to be behind the letters. So I'm going to share this. I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it as a PNG and it'll be transparent and I only want that second page. 
So I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to go to a website called convert IO. And I'm going to grab that last image and I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to say that I want an SVG vector and it's going to convert that for me. And when it's done, it's going to indicate that I can download it. So I'm going to press the download button. And there you go, it's converted it to an SVG. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a Microsoft Word session. And I'm going to import that image. So I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to pictures, I'm going to go to this device. I'm going to go to downloads because that's where that document is. So here it is. And I'm going to select insert. Now you'll notice up here, they'll be convert to shape. I'm going to convert it to a shape. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to shape format and I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to fill this frame with a picture. So I'm just, I'll just go to stock images. It can be any picture at all. You can't skip this step. You have to do it because that's how we're creating the frame. Now that I'm done uh, with this, I am going to go to file. I'm going to save as I'm going to call this my Easter frame. And I'm going to save this as a PDF document, but I also just want to save it to my downloads folder so that I know where to find it. Okay, so I'm just going to save that. And now I'm going to go back to Canva right here. And I'm going to add another page and I'm going to um, upload that document that's in my download. So I'm going to grab my PDF document and I'm just going to place it on my workspace and you'll see it's uploading it. So here is my Easter frame. I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. And one, I should be able to just click in there, press delete, and it will delete the picture, but leave the frame. So let's try it. Okay, perfect. Okay. So here is my frame. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my elements and I'm going to grab this picture of um, Easter eggs and I'm going to place it inside there, my frame. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the text that I originally used to create this frame. So I'm going to come up here. This is the text. I'm going to grab both of the words, I'm going to copy them and I'm going to bring them in here. And I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller. And because I've got both words separated, I'm just going to place them nicely in there. Now, I'm just going to remove now the outline that I had originally placed on these words and I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger like this. Now, if we want, we can also add a background in behind. We can take this and we can just add a shadow. So we can position that in behind the Easter eggs. And we can go to edit photo and we can give that a shadow, like maybe a glow. Um, or an outline and we can blur
like so. We can also take it one step further and we can add a um, yellow background or a pink background. I just You just need to go to layers and choose the background and then the color chooser and you can you'll see that canva has preset colors here for you to choose you can add um, a any one of the colors that are matching with the the photo and or you can choose um, a color that you uh, like yourself now if you're finding that the type the text is too um, dark you can also switch that up to a white or you can add a shadow effect to the text as well and uh, with a contrasting color like white and like so. Now I'm just going to do the opposite here. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. And um, remember that members of my YouTube channel get to see my tutorials first. So if you want to see my tutorials first, please join my membership. You'll also get access to my buy me a coffee shop where there'll be tons of free stuff for you to download. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.